hell the heck would I know that? Hey everyone, this is John Kernahan, United Tiny House Association, coming at you with today's tiny talk. Um, so, somebody said to me the other day, they said, hey, I'm looking at a piece of property that is zoned as R3, residential zone three. Can I have a tiny house there? And my answer to them was, how the heck would I know that? Gee willikers, golly, you think I know every piece of zoning and every piece of municipality all throughout these United States? The reality is, is this, is that every single municipality, every single county throughout the United States, they have their own codes. Now, this, co this county here, County A, their zoning might be identical to County B, but there's no guarantee of it. And somebody says to me, our tiny house is legal in my county or my property is zoned as agriculture one, can I put a tiny house on it? I always respond to them with, how would I know? You know, I don't look, I mean, I'm not an expert on the codes for every single solitary county throughout the United States. But what I do though is, is I do tell them how they can learn to do it themselves, how they can be their own advocate. The best thing is find out what the zoning is for your county. Don't pick up the phone and ask a zoning commissioner or a zoning agent or anything. Find it in print. If it's not online on your county's website, and if you pick up the phone and you ask them where it is online, if it's not online, then go down and pick up a copy if they aren't able to email it to you. You need to see pen, ink on parchment on the codes for where you are at or where you wanna live to know what exactly they are. I can't stress enough. Do not listen to whoever's on the other end of the phone tell you what it says because you don't know what happened that day. Shoot. If my wife was the zoning person that you're talking to and she and she lives with me, you might call her and she's just pissed off at me for some stupid thing I did again. And you're going to call her and say, hey, excuse me, I have a piece of land that's R3. Can I put a tiny house on it? And she might go call me back tomorrow click you know just because she's in one of those moods you know or you could pick it up you know you don't know what's going on the person could have a late electricity bill um they could be so jacked up and excited because they just won the lottery that they go yeah you can without even yeah you know free coffee for everybody you know so don't believe what people tell you because you know just their mood whether it's a great mood or a negative mood could influence their answer research it yourself that's my tiny talk for today. Feel free to visit us online at unitedtinyhouse.com and on our Facebook page at United Tiny House. But also, if you want to learn more about funny tiny talks, not these serious ones, visit Finn and I on Facebook at Tiny Talks, communicating with laughter and love. Finn told me to and, speak slowly. And then you don't have to mention what some... And I'm not supposed to look at it. I'm supposed to look over there. We're going to start this all over again.